Hey everyone, John Henry here from School of Trade, and today we're going to be taking a look at a wave long here on crude oil. Uh, so first target's going to be up at 54.30, second target's going to be at 54.40, and actually the way that this is setting up, I'm going to leave that as the final target as well. So 54.40 um, is kind of the final area. Holy crap, that went fast. Uh, let's see if they can hit that 44. Yeah, jeez. Um, okay, I, I wasn't anticipating it going within 30 seconds um now let me let me kind of go over it since that one went kind of fast um crude oil has been rising higher pretty much all morning but we took a, a little bit of a break uh if we zoom out here you can kind of see you know we we got this really really strong strong push up and since then just kind of faded off and you know it made these nice two legs back and looks like they kind of got a little bit of a fake break low and then reverse back up uh that first pullback above the ema that wasn't really that that good that wasn't that big of a pullback um, the second one that was a nice little deep one but it didn't set up quite perfectly and then we've got our nice wave pattern here that we took uh, that came directly into the trigger zone perfect test of the trigger zone perfect rise back up again um, I, I wasn't anticipating this kind of move now normally when we look at our entry here if we zoom in um, our entry was right here and when we're looking at our entry to our target, when it's that close, we never want to use that first target. I'm not super interested in a two tick target, right? Um, so I'm going to look a little bit bigger. So that's kind of be my next area uh, above it, which in this case is 5431. Uh, now the reason normally when we do that is I'm looking for a larger target up to 5466. The problem is today is crude oil inventory days. And when it's inventory days, you typically don't get these big pushes through the highs with continuation. Um, it, it usually just ends up being a little bit more rotational you get these pushes through the high and then you fade back you get a push through the high and they'll probably fade back so i'm not anticipating a huge move off of those highs uh, and because of that i wanted to get out at 54.39 just ahead of that so our entry to our first target which happened so fast you didn't even really see it but uh that was 12 ticks second target up here up to 39 that gives us 18 so because i took two off and two off that gives us 24 and then another 36 for 60 ticks on the trade uh, i don't know about you but 600 bucks for 30 seconds of work i'm not, I'm not too upset about that um just a, an excruciatingly fast move today um, on that little wave pattern up. So I guess that's really going to be it. There's not really a whole lot else to talk about. Just a beautiful wave pattern to the upside right after the open. Perfect setup into the trigger zone. Beautiful bounce higher. Not expecting huge continuation. So taking a little bit more of a conservative target. And there you go. 60 ticks in 30 seconds. Uh, that's going to be the trade for today. If you have any questions about it, feel free to send an email to School of Trade. Don't forget to check out our trial at schooloftrade.com. And as always, we'll catch you next time.